All right, guys, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to rebrand these uh, Viking PLR packs, if you so choose. Uh, we're going to start with the PowerPoint slides for the videos. So the videos, we, we've been very careful to make sure that there's no branding or no mention of Viking in the audio. So you can actually continue to use the audio track if you prefer um, and simply remove the, the visual Viking branding. Uh, the easiest way to do that is going to be to come to each image. There's three Viking images in each uh, slide presentation and what you'll do is you'll right cl click you'll come over here to change picture choose from a file and I'll just grab a, a random image here easy as that you would do the same thing here and here and if you did want to change the voiceover all you'd have to do is you would actually have to delete this um, sound file here you'd have to insert a new one which would be here, audio on my uh, PC. Hey, you can grab uh, any audio file that you choose. Once you do grab an audio file, you're going to want to set it to play in background. And all of these settings will default to their appropriate settings, with the exception of one. You'll want to uncheck loop until stopped. Okay. Now, since there'll be a, a difference between our audio and your audio in terms of the timing of the various bullet points and everything. Uh, you're going to want to re-rehearse timings if you change the audio. Uh, same thing goes for if you add bullets uh, or any other content to the slideshow. So what you'll want to do is come up here to slideshow and you'll click rehearse timings and this is uh, basically what you'll do. You'll just click through as though you're going through an entire PowerPoint presentation. Uh, I'm on a 4K monitor that's why the... <laughs> let me go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, sorry. So I was on a 4K monitor, so that's why it looked all zoomed in there. Um, but basically, you would just proceed as though you were doing any other PowerPoint presentation and clicking at the right times in synchronization with your audio. And once you've done that, at the end there, when it says, do you want to save the timings, you hit yes. And from that point forward, when it renders a video, everything will be in sync. Okay, so we've covered how to change the images, remove all the Viking branding, how to change the audio. The last thing left to do in order to make these into a video would be to come over to file and you're just going to come to export create video make sure this is set to use recorded timings and narrations those are the ones that you just set up uh, it should be set that way by default and to choose your presentation quality um, there's no reason not to do full HD these days and create video and that'll render over the course of a few minutes an mp4 video file of this presentation and let's see if I missed anything here. Nope, I think that's about it for the PowerPoint slides. Let's move over to the Warlord, excuse me, the Viking Bonus Creation uh, Word documents. So what I'm about to say applies to the reports as well as to the full ebooks. Um, and really, it's, it's actually very similar to PowerPoint, except for one thing I'll mention at the beginning is this background, it's here for stylistic reasons. It looks kind of cool and, and slick, but um, I understand a lot of people might not like that. So what you'll want to do, when you first open the document, everything will look kind of gray and hazy here. And that's because that background image is actually in the header. And it is, uh, as far as Microsoft Word is concerned, it's layered in front of the text. So step one is going to be to double click in the header area. Step two, click one more time and you're actually going to select this background image. Okay, uh, You'll see these little dots up here in the corners and on the sides. That's how you can resize this. If you want to keep this background and you just want to get rid of it temporarily while you edit and change things so you can see a little more clearly, that's all you do. You just drag it to the side and then remember to drag it back over uh, before you finally render or, or export your document. And if you want to just delete it, that's fine. Just hit delete and you get rid of that. If you want to switch to a white background, we'll just come over to design up here, page color, change the page color to white. And what you'll see is that uh, Microsoft Word, let me close out of the header mode actually. There we go. Microsoft Word, when you change the background to white, automatically changes the white text to black. Okay. Um, let's see here. 
Same rules apply here for changing the picture, change picture from file. You can choose any picture that you'd like. Um, you would want to go into the footer area. I'm going to go ahead and change the page color back to black. Uh, it's worth noting here that in the footer area, it does not automatically change this text to black if you change the background to white, so you'll want to come in and manually do that. Just up here under Home, and you can obviously uh, change colors up here. And you're going to want to come in here, obviously remove the Viking branding from this, replace this image, and look for any other references. There shouldn't be any other references to uh, Viking branding with the exception of down here inside of the reports where it actually recommends that your customers or your, your leads grab the ebook um, inside of each of the reports. <clears throat> but you can always just do Control F and look for the word Viking, see if there's any other Viking branding that we missed. Uh, we made sure not to include any in the actual body of the document uh, in the case of the ebooks. And that is about it for the Word documents, guys. Um, I just want to reiterate when you distribute this uh, to your audience, it needs to be in PDF format. So you're going to come up here to File and you're going to save as Adobe PDF. Simple as that. Same thing goes for the PowerPoints. You can only distribute the video files once you export it as an MP4. You cannot distribute the uh, the actual presentation slides themselves. Um, again, unless you upgraded and got the master uh, transferable PLR rights, in which case you can sell PLR rights to these. Um, but if you just got the, the standard package um, of our Viking PLR uh, bundles, and you're just distributing these, these to end users under your own PLR rights, make sure that when you distribute, you're only dealing with PDFs, and video files, not with any Word documents or uh, PowerPoint slides. Uh, that's about it for the tutorial. Uh, guys, if there's any information here that I didn't cover or that you don't understand about rebranding, feel free to send us a support ticket, and uh, if necessary, we'll uh, go ahead and update this tutorial and re-upload it to the members area. All right, thanks, guys.